this is a beautiful little Georgian building designed by two of the best architects of the late 18th century, James Craig, who designed Edinburgh's new town plan, John Adam, who was the brother of Robert Adam and in many ways the brains of the family architectural business, and they worked together to design this little building. My connection with the Botanic Cottage is that I was brought up in this house. Um, family lived here round about 1958 to 1974. Um, it was a tied house, if you like. My father was a workshop foreman for a firm of haulage contractors and builders merchants. There was only two houses in Annandale Street Lane in these days. This one and uh, Bruce Lindsay Brothers, their caretaker, had the other house. It was the main entrance to a long-lost incarnation of the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, which was over on Leith Walk. And it was also the home of the head gardener, who lived on the ground floor. And then upstairs was a classroom, which we now know to be the oldest surviving classroom of the Scottish Enlightenment. This top floor in the house is where we lived. This had a living room, a bathroom, three bedrooms and a kitchen. All in this tiny little area. But you made do with what, there, what room there was and there was absolutely no bother. Downstairs was uh, basically a cellar. No more than just a cellar area to us. I had a dark room down there for my photography hobbies in these days. Uh, my brother and my father used to like to keep pigeons and they had a few pigeon cages in there. It's really come back to its spiritual home. It's been rebuilt by the same organisation that built it 250 years ago and it's going to be used for the same purposes as it was originally built. It was always designed to be a building that was about welcoming people, about family and community and about education and that's exactly what it's going to be again. The front of the house, we actually shared um, part of the outside area. That was a monumental sculptor had a, a workshop down there. And he used to tap away, but in fact, that's what we used to call him, wee tappy, uh, because that's all you heard was the, the hammer and the chisels going as he was engraving the names and gravestones. It was just life, or death, <laughs> you know. But it was just life, it was just what the house was all about full of character, and I hope it remains full of character for many, many years to come.